Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel and I know it's crazy if you guys have read the title You didn't get clickbaited. I actually am switching to keyboard and mouse permanently now back in 2018 when I first started playing Fortnite on my PlayStation 4 with the controller I, I really didn't ever think that I would be playing on keyboard and mouse It just it really didn't cross my mind, but here we are playing keyboard and mouse This is this is actually so insane. I never thought that I would be doing this anyway So in today's video, I'm basically gonna be showing you my journey throughout this one month of playing keyboard and mouse and for anyone who wants to skip to a certain day i will be putting timestamps down in the description and in the pinned comment so that way you could just skip to whatever day you'd like but i do recommend that you guys stay for the whole video because i will be giving helpful and useful tips throughout my commentary that help me a lot with becoming a better keyboard and mouse player in, in general it helped me a lot so if you guys are just starting keyboard and mouse you guys can kind of learn with me so you guys can kind of learn some of the tips that i had to learn while i was starting so yeah um let's just get into it without further ado let's start the video Alright, so day one. So honestly, just starting this off, let's be honest. Whenever you're switching from a platform to a new platform, such as like controller to keyboard and mouse or controller to mobile or something around those lines, day one through six is most likely gonna be you just practicing it. And that's pretty much all I did for this week. I literally just sat in creative, cranked 90s, tried to get better at building, messed with my keybinds. I really didn't do anything other than building and just sitting in creative. So this this stuff isn't too exciting. But honestly, I am gonna talk about it a little because it is a bit important when you're trying to switch to keyboard or mouse so a number one thing that i feel like a lot of people have trouble on when they start keyboard or mouse is that they don't really have a place to start at for example like you don't know what keybinds you're supposed to do because keyboard or mouse is a a lot more overwhelming than like playing on controller where you have a few little binds and then you just bind them on keyboard and mouse you have so many key binds and you just you don't know what to do with them so here's one of the tips that i actually asked my brother for because he's a really good keyboard and mouse player and i highly suggest that you guys check out his channel I'll put a card up in the corner so guys please go check out his channel he helped me a ton getting better at keyboard and mouse but but anyway back to the topic so basically i think the main thing that you're going to want to do is search up any pro player that plays on keyboard and mouse maybe booga ninja someone who's just you know maybe your favorite streamer i don't know anybody that plays keyboard or mouse and try to copy their keybinds now don't worry you don't have to keep their keybinds forever just copy it for now and then that way you can kind of have a basis on which to start your keyboard and mouse journey on this is what i did i actually if you guys are wondering i copied booga's keybinds and i slowly kind of phased them out for my own which kind of felt comfortable for me so that's probably the best tip that I can give you guys for starting on keyboard and mouse. Other than that, once you like get your keybinds down, it really just comes down to practice. I would just say play creative, try to get your building down. That's what you want to get down first, I feel like. And then second is like switching to your weapons and your pickaxe and stuff like that. Because those are not as important. But building, staying creative like a week and just grind and crank and crank. And by the end of that week, you should be very decent, fairly decent at building for just starting on keyboard and mouse. So that would be my tips for just starting on keyboard and mouse. But now moving on to day seven. So this is the end of week one. I honestly, I finally amassed the courage to go into pubs. Granted, I didn't go into solos. I went with dark. But uh, this was a very scary like thing for me because this is like my first time ever playing pubs on a keyboard and mouse. Now... I didn't really struggle with building as much as I did with like switching to weapons. That was really my main problem is having to switch between these weapons and these intense fights which just it got me so panicky that I just couldn't do it and I would switch to the wrong weapon and then I would die. So pubs is definitely a lot more stressful than creative and of course I think anybody knows that but honestly funny enough I don't think it was the building that was really difficult for me I think it was switching weapons and trying to pull out my pickaxe that actually might have been the most difficult part of starting keyboard and mouse Which honestly is pretty comical to me because it always seems like building's the hardest part of it. Anyway without further ado moving on to week two let's get into it So on day 8, I pretty much just continue my current path, logging into duos, playing with Darkwing, practicing my skills, except the one main change that I did make here was that I switched over from my old account to my main account, and I feel like this actually did help me improve a ton, because instead of me just going against bots on my old account, I was actually challenged to improve my gameplay because the players I was versing on a main account 
was a lot more difficult. The, the skill level was just insane there. So I was forced to actually become a better player instead of just practicing against these really bad players on my old account. So I feel like overall, switching to my main account helped me improve a ton. And I think that it was definitely worth it. Now, day nine was pretty much just me playing duels with Dark, and um, we actually came super close to a win. Sadly, Dark died. I was left solo, and let's be honest, I pretty much had no chance here. I was, like, just starting keyboard and mouse. I, I was so panicky during this game. My hands were shaking. So, I ended up losing, but, you know, you win some, you lose some, and I think that is a very important thing to learn when you are switching to a new platform on any game, is that, you know, if you don't win every single one of your games, don't be hard on yourself. You're obviously starting a new platform. You're gonna get better as time goes on so just continue practicing and you know soon you will be able to win so yeah without further ado let's move on to day 10 now this day was pretty much uneventful all i really did was just go about my normal schedule playing with darkwing trying to get some wins now the one thing that i did change is i actually switched my pickaxe keybind from c to q now i would recommend that everyone who is switching to keyboard and mouse use your pickaxe keybind as q i mean you could use q for something else but i feel like q is probably one of the best keybinds for your pickaxe just because of how much you use your pickaxe every three seconds you're either pulling it out maybe you know to chop down some wood to break down someone's wall you pretty much use your pickaxe for everything in the game it's pretty much one of the most important keybinds and it's just super easy to hit because you could just use your ring finger to hit it, it it's just a very easy keybind to hit and i would highly recommend that you use q as your pickaxe keybind now day 11 pretty much nothing too exciting uh we had the mandalorian update day plus i tried out a little bit of solos and yeah as you can see See, I got wrecked by an AI. Uh, yeah, it was it, sad, sad moments, boys, sad moments. But the one thing that I did change is I just switched my R and C keybind, just moved, shifted them a little bit left. I don't know why. It didn't really make a change. I just kind of shifted them more to the left. Pretty much that was the only thing that I did on day 11. Nothing too exciting on this day. Uh, yeah, pretty much just an uneventful day. Day 12, we pretty much had nothing. Just played duos with Dark all day. And uh, yeah, still no win. Pretty, uh... Pretty uneventful, pretty uneventful day. Now, day 13 was actually really exciting because on day 13, me and Dark finally got our first duos win. Now, I mean, to be fair, I didn't really do a lot because Dark pretty much carried me, but I mean, I did contribute, I got the win. So, I mean, I'm pretty proud of myself for that. But I mean, I wouldn't say that I exactly like, you know, completely like destroyed the competition. Dark pretty much carried me the whole time. And I think this is also a really good time to talk about like having a duo partner when you are starting or switching to a new platform. I would definitely recommend playing duos over solos just because it will boost your confidence level. You know, if you are at least getting wins, even if you're not doing anything, you're A, getting experience and practice and B, you're feeling, you know, upbeat, you know, you're getting wins, you know, it, you're playing with friends. It's just a very good way to boost your confidence and at the same time practice. So I would definitely recommend if you are switching to any new platform, try to play duos a lot with your friends or your siblings. It's definitely going to help you boost your confidence. And uh, yeah, moving on to day 14. So yeah, day 14, pretty much uneventful like every other day. Just continue playing duos. Didn't really get a win. Didn't really do anything. But I mean, yeah. So, although this was a pretty uneventful day, um, this does mark the end of week two. So, we are now moving on to week three of our keyboard and mouse journey. Let's get into it. All right, yeah. So, starting off week three, honestly, this week was pretty just chill. I pretty much just continued going into duels with Darkwing, trying to get some wins. Like, I really didn't do anything special this week. There was really nothing that happened, so I'm just going to pretty much kind of go over this week as a whole. Overall, I will say that I have improved drastically from the first two weeks in, in week three. The week three was really the week that I started to bloom. Like, you could definitely see that, like, I'm just getting faster with my keybinds. I felt like my muscle memory was getting a lot better, and that definitely did boost my confidence, but I was also kind of hitting a point where I was, like, wondering, okay, should I go back to controller where I'm really good, or should I continue on the keyboard and mouse journey? Now, I'm sure that a lot of you that are switching to keyboard and mouse or even just a new dice in general are going to have this thought lingering in the back of your mind, you know, like, should I just switch back to my original device? I was way better on there. Like, should I even, you know, be doing this? And honestly, I know I've only been playing for a month and I know I don't have the most experience on keyboard and mouse, but I would definitely say just continue grinding, continue practicing. And you are going to get a lot better and it's definitely going to be worth it if you put the time and effort in, but it all comes down to that practice and time. Are you willing to put that in to become better on keyboard and mouse or whatever new platform you're playing on? So I continue to stay on keyboard and mouse. I didn't actually switch back to controller. However, there was one 
thing that actually happened that I forgot to mention that was extremely, extremely exciting. I actually, on day 19, got my first solo win on keyboard and mouse. Now, granted, I did shoot the guy out. I didn't really earn this win. I didn't really kill him. But, I mean, I got the win. I survived till the last zone and won the game. Now, honestly, this was probably one of the best experiences on keyboard and mouse. Like, I've never felt this excited for a solo win since, like, some of my OG days in Fortnite. Like, this, it just made me so excited. I, I can't even describe to you guys, like, th the excitement I was feeling at getting my first win because I had been grinding so hard to get a solo win. You know, I had gotten duels wins. I was getting better, but I had never really gotten a solo win, you know, because getting a solo win it's definitely it's a lot harder you know because you're you're on your own you have to rely more on your own skill instead of your teammates and honestly overall this extremely boosted my confidence and this is what prompted me to stay on keyboard and mouse and not switch back to controller was that i was making improvement i was being able to get solo wins and i was becoming a better player overall on keyboard and mouse so yeah closing out week three uh this was a pretty dead week save for my solo win uh we had no really updates we had i didn't change up my keybinds we got we need me and dark didn't get any duo wins it was a very dead week a very chill week i merely just used this week to improve my skills get better as a keyboard and mouse player and uh yeah i think that's all there is to say so uh yeah moving on to week four Guys, here it is the final week this is it's honestly crazy so this week pretty much just like week three it, it was honestly it was so dead there was no updates there was really i didn't get any wins i really didn't change my keybinds or anything it was just a very dead week so i did try to break it up by instead of playing battle royale i played a lot of creative this week like pretty much the whole week i would just play stuff like zone wars box fights and i feel like it actually did help me improve because i don't know about you guys but my creative lobbies are so much sweatier than my lobbies and pubs. I don't know what it is. The kids that I verse in creative versus the kids that I verse in pubs are just, the skill level is literally insane there. Now, the one thing that I did try to work on is my X key and my four key. Um, I was really slow whenever trying to hit them. I just hadn't really gotten that part of my muscle memory down. So the one thing that I did try to work on was try to hit those a little bit faster, try to get those ingrained in my muscle memory. And I wouldn't say that I'm near the level of being able to like, of course, you know, get a solo win on my own everything is still very new to me over this last month but i would say that i've definitely improved so much from week one like it's honestly crazy like if you looked at my skill level from week one my skill level all the way now on week four it, it's just it's crazy to me how far i progressed but yeah pretty chill week uh the only thing that i did try was that on day seven i attempted to 1v1 darkwing and beat him and uh yeah how do i say this it literally was the worst thing I've ever done. I don't know why I decided to do this because uh, I told him to go full try hard on me. And let's just say it was not fun at all. So, uh, yeah, let me just show you guys a little compilation of that real quick. Fortnite. Dang it! Fine, I choked. <laughs> I choked so soon. I hit you for 33. I guess that counts for something, right? What? No! I am not getting pickaxe. I am not. No. No. I- I just choked that. I- I thought you would jump out from the top. I didn't know you would- I can't- I can't. I- oh. Man's tunneling. Like it's F- Oh my gosh. Okay. You could- He is tunneling like it's FCNS finals. Oh my gosh. 66 damage. Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness! That you are scary. kidding me right now! I think I just broke my chair doing that. Okay, really, really? Okay, like. Yeah, overall, that was honestly a pretty fun ordeal, and honestly, I never thought that I was going to be able to beat Darkwing, but I mean, we did it. I mean, granted, we got lucky, but I mean, a win's a win. So anyway, that marks the very end of our one-month journey from controller to keyboard and mouse. Honestly, I never, ever thought I would be switching to keyboard and mouse. Like, I'd always wanted to from 
not, I wouldn't say the day I started controller, but towards like about a year in, maybe two years in, you know, as I started to see these pros, just how good they were on keyboard and mouse, I always wanted to switch to keyboard and mouse. I wouldn't say that I was scared of switching to keyboard and mouse, but I definitely was very hesitant to, and I think I'm very happy that I switched, and honestly, for anybody that is considering switching, I would definitely say go for it, because honestly, keyboard and mouse, literally, I've only been playing on it for a month, and I'd say that I'm probably very close to already being better than I was on controller, and honestly, it's just so worth it, guys. Just, if you are considering switching, definitely make the switch it is completely worth it and uh yeah that marks the end of our 30 days from controller to keyboard and mouse i really hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys did enjoy guys please drop a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are new i'd really appreciate it and uh yeah thanks for watching the video i'll catch you guys all in the next video peace out